This is a quick tutorial to show you how to bring in multiple libraries into Illustrator CS5, but it could be for CS4, etc. Now, there's many uh, symbol libraries available via graphicextras.com, and this is the address for all the uh, various symbols libraries you can find. Now, symbols are vector shape designs that can be basically used as paths and designs within Illustrator. You can use them via the symbol sprayer tool and all those things, but you can also just drag them and use them as an instance within Illustrator. So this is a, a symbol, it's a vector design, which you can of course put in size. Right, just quickly delete that one. Now, I'm just gonna quickly go to a folder. Now I've added all the symbol libraries or a certain selection of the graphic extra symbol libraries anyway, it's like space, flowers, zoom designs, Christmas baubles, snow designs, dinosaurs, etc. text. And I've just put all the AI files into this folder which is the presets folder en underscore gb because i'm actually based in britain and it might be en underscore us and symbols paste them all in there and now when you go over to the symbols you'll actually see down here on the right side is a menu so you actually see all the various symbol files I zoom flowers space etc so I'll just select one of those and the symbols will turn up there and you will see on the right side there's a little thumbnail view select the persistent now i just go back there these other ones are also set to persistent now once i go back into illustrator I'll just close that down restart illustrator again And you will find those libraries are now available straight away within Illustrator. So you can access them straight away. Obviously, maybe opening up hundreds and hundreds of files, perhaps is not a great idea. So maybe if you've got a selection of maybe 10 or 15 symbol libraries that you use quite a lot, you can actually uh, just leave them permanently open. And then you can just go to that symbol selection over here and just select a symbol drag it over there, so I'm just going to quickly show you the symbol design. Now of course you can edit that symbol as well, you can just double click on that. So you edit the symbol definition, just go in and change that so you can alter the colour, etc. So you leave isolation mode, slightly changed symbol there. So that's a basic quick easy way of adding multiple symbols into Illustrator. Now it's not ideal, it obviously would be nice if there was a sort of a browse or bridge feature as uh, maybe in other applications but uh, obviously that's probably the easiest way is to use the persistent feature to keep various libraries available permanent use.